Systems Design at the Technical University of Norway in Trondheim. This spring we made an experiment trying out the feasibility of using modern office technology equipment for the purpose of doing uh, systems documentation, that is information system specification. Uh, two of the students uh, of the last year at the Department of Computer Science have been working on this for a couple of months and we would like now to show you what we have done so far. Uh, just to make uh, the situation clear, uh, today is the 6th of May. Uh, the professional television people at the university uh, are out at the seminar. We have rented some equipment uh, and are trying to sort of do it on our own. Uh, I first like to uh, present the two guys who have done the job. Lena Tjopp is going to operate the uh, uh, op uh, to, to operate the system for us. Gay Anderson is today going to operate as our camera crew on the program that he and Lena developed. The program is called VISP, V-I-S-P, which in Norwegian says Vector for Information System Specification. Uh, in English, Tools for Information System Specification. The menu is shown here. Because this is a Norwegian program, Norwegian computer program, the text is in Norwegian. Uh, main entries in the menu are enter a particular system. Entry number two is specify a particular system. Entry number three, list a system, or make a drawing of a system. Uh, entry number four uh, says, I need help. Entry number five, remove the system specification. In entry number six, stop the use of VISP. We are now choosing the drawing motors so that we are put into a motors which enable us to specify the diagrammatic picture of the data flow. Uh, one important point with this technique is that we can see that we are no longer forced to use tedious sequential computer languages to specify system structures in a, computing, a, a computer processable form. We are given the freedom to use, what can one call it, visible languages, uh, which also are computer processable. We are given the freedom to mix drawings and text in a nice and effective manner so that we can get the formalities, the formal system specification recorded by a good programmed package in, uh, in a form which is also understandable to the layman and good for communication. For the purpose of those who are not familiar with this kind of equipment, we'll show a little piece from the demo package of the PERC computer. It's pretty expensive. It is to be, to be expected that uh, it'll take over quite a lot of the paper shuffling in the offices of tomorrow. This makes this kind of equipment a viable candidate, good candidate for being used in systems design, program development, that is for our own purposes. Uh, moving the camera over to the keyboard and to the mouse. The mouse is equipped with four function knobs so that one can move a cursor over the screen uh, touch the knobs and having different functions performed. Of course, the program is free to 
define those functions. The demo here shows an example of a windowing technique where drawings are superimposed on the simulation of the pad of paper, which we can imagine is on our on our desk. We can contemplate and write Chinese poetry on our screen. And this beautiful poem written by Gong Xianhu says, as we all can see, if you want more knowledge, then you have to study more. Showing the $50,000 fringe benefit, which is delivered with the computer to be used by students who are tired of working, but not tired of life. The game is called Parkman. By the way, isn't it somewhat interesting to think that these guys, these students who have made the program shown here, when they started uh, computing education four years ago, the freshman course in computing was a punch card based course in Fortran programming.